disturbing mystery on Tucson's west side. Police searching for answers after neighbors discovered a body in this mobile home park. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Tonight, police are trying to piece it all together. Neighbors found a man dead and they say he was probably there for a while. Nine on your sides, Liz Kotalik has been digging into this mystery. Val, this is where it all happened. A man dead for at least a week found right inside this mobile home. And the main question police are asking tonight is why. From the outside, all that looks out of place here is the police tape. But just inside this door, a scene too gruesome for us to even show. For the past week, neighbors tell us flies were corralled around the windows, a horrible smell lingering all around the home. And at 8 o'clock this morning, two men finally investigated. The neighbors did make entry. I was able to make entry and found a deceased body inside the trailer. The body of a man lying in blood, neighbors say, and police tell us there were obvious signs of trauma. This individual in the trailer appears to be an adult male, uh, Hispanic, and appears to have been here for at least one week, possibly longer. Police are treating this case as a homicide, only telling us that the circumstances are suspicious. Neighbors who didn't feel comfortable going on camera say they saw the man who lived here, but they didn't see him often. They say he may have two children and think he's in his early 20s, but police are waiting for an autopsy before they release any details. We don't know exactly what the, what the, what happened to him. Um, just because of the decomposition of the body. Uh, so we don't want to make any assumptions off what we see until we know for sure. So for now, neighbors wait, and the landlord says he's getting rid of this trailer tomorrow. Again, until we get word from police about what they find in that autopsy, this man's death will remain a mystery. From the west side, Liz Kodalik, KGUN 9, on your side. If you know anything that could help police crack this case, call 911 or 88 Crime. Now remember, you can remain anonymous.